Madagascar is currently in a deep political crisis. President Mark Ravolamalana's government had become an object of hatred for many because of widespread bribery and corruption. There were violent demonstrations and in 2009, Andre Rajalena, who was backed by the army, ousted the unpopular ruler and declared himself the new interim president. The former mayor of the capital, Antananarivo, promised swift elections, but that promise has yet to be fulfilled. Nearly 90% of the population are currently living below the poverty line with a daily consumption of less than $2. On the 17th of August, the Special Electoral Court rejected the applications of eight presidential candidates, including the incumbent, Rajalina, former First Lady Lalao Ravolamanana and ex-president Didier Rasiraka. Rivalries between supporters of the three candidates have underpinned the political instability since Andre Rajalina toppled Ravolamanana. The decision to leave the three controversial candidates out of the elections came as a result of international pressure. The South African Development Community, SADC, and the African Union had repeatedly said they would not support or recognize the elections if the three candidates remained in the race. The SADC and the European Union also threatened to impose sanctions. The interim president bowed to the pressure. Many welcome this news and are now looking forward to the elections. We lost our job in this political crisis. We hope this year we will have the election. We need to accelerate the election because the life of the Malagasy people is extremely tough. Others are already doubtful that Madagascar will change after the elections. Maybe there will be an election, but that won't change people's lives. Now it is already cold, though there will be no election on the coming October 25th. The presidential election is scheduled for October 25th. It will be the first held in Madagascar since Ravala Manana was removed from power. Robert Soy, CCTV.